Hello everybody, Critical Rocket back here with the Chassis Variant Series, going on to the 4J Hunchback now. Another Swayback Variant that was also created in the 2800s. This is an LRM fire support version that keeps uh, the medium lasers but replaces the ballistics entirely with two LRM 10s, both situated in the right torso. Uh, tabletop wise, still very effective mech, three medium lasers, 15 damage and obviously your LRM rolls makes it quite effective and uh, not too bad mobility wise on the field as a bodyguard for more dedicated mechs like the Trebuchet and uh, larger LRM carriers like the Archer. So, um, Equarium Online, 4J is pretty decent. It's uh, not bad in both capacities of working as an SRM brawler but also working as an LRM carrier. It has enough uh, missile slots, if I have a quick look on uh, the stats here. So it's got two missile slots uh, which isn't too bad, as I said. You can probably whack in a couple of uh, SRM packs in there, or um, you know, maybe smaller LRMs. However you want to play it, but you just have to be mindful that again, like any of the um, hunchbacks, your right torso is going to be pretty much your your business end of the mech. Because three of your energy slots of the five, or, sorry, six energy slots are available in that side torso. So if you lose your right hand side, you're down to just okay. two lasers. Whatever you've got on them, that's all you've got left. And one of those is in the head, so you're only going to be able to get a medium or a small in that anyway. Your left arm, you've got a bit more room to play with. Your ammunition should therefore probably not be in any other torso. It should probably stick it in the right arm, to be honest. Because you lose your right torso, there's no point in worrying about carrying the ammunition, because if that goes, you're just taking more damage. Uh, but by stock, the LRM ammo is actually kept in the left torso, so you have to be mindful of that uh, when you're uh, putting any builds together. Outside of that though, you know, uh, once you get used to protecting your right hand side of your mech as much as possible, just play it like any other hunchback in my experience, in that uh, try to avoid one-on-one uh, -on -one confrontations, uh, always try to support a uh, bigger mech or, or mechs that have an advantage over your opponent, and uh, try to just help them, maybe try and you know, steal a kill if you can, or at least just make sure that you're uh, targeting them, and uh, in this case, uh, bringing down LRM fire. If you do get engaged, then yeah, make sure you try and torso twist as often as possible just to try and uh, lessen the damage on that right torso and uh, spray them with whatever weapons you've got there, uh, pulse lasers, small or medium or however you want to go. Heat management I didn't find to be a problem, actually, because uh, running at stock the LRM10s don't overheat me that quickly and yeah, you've got a lot of medium and lasers and a small, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, as long as you keep your eye on your heat management. Uh, if you've upgraded it with doubles, that helps a bit. Uh, with uh, that side of things, so you shouldn't really be overheating with the the 4J unless uh, you're either on a very hot mark like Terra or Tourmaline, or you're and you end up in a situation where you, you know you're just firing all the time because you've got targets coming at you. Uh, perfect scenario, you'll just be able to do like what I had with this match, where uh, I just got to kind of leisurely stand back, fire LRMs, and uh, just engage whenever the targets. Uh, presented themselves to me, so yeah. Uh, overall, 4J is another good mech, another good hunchback variant that is worth uh, having a go of if you haven't got three and you're trying to master them. Uh, the 4J is a nice change of pace uh, because of the missile hard points, and uh, yeah, it's it's got some okay builds. As uh, I, I liked running it with streaks way back when when I first when I first got one, I was uh, getting mastery. I liked having the two streak launchers. Uh, just to be able to uh, keep light max off me and uh, some pulse lasers back when I was running custom builds. So, uh, yeah, um, hope you like that. Uh, let me know about the quality of these videos, whether they're alright for you or not, because uh, I was trying out a, a different format to try and keep the file sizes down. So, uh, if it's uh, if it's alright with you, then I'll continue with this. So, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good week. Target That's Chris Lockett, signing out. New target acquired. New target acquired. Acquired.